magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Ngayon ay ating pag-aaralan kung paano hanapin ang roots ng polynomial equation. Ang proseso nito ay katulad lang sa factoring polynomial. Ang pinagkaiba nga lang nila, sa factoring polynomial ang hinahanap ay factors. Samantalang dito, ang hinahanap ay roots, zeros, or values of x. Mahalagang malaman nyo kung ilang roots ang kailangan hanapin sa isang polynomial equation. At ang sagot doon ay depende sa degree or highest exponent. Simulan na natin. Find the roots of the polynomial equation given one of its roots. Number 1, x cubed plus 4x squared plus x minus 6 equal to 0. So number 1, since ang highest exponent or degree ng polynomial ay 3, ibig sabihin meron itong tatlong roots. Ngayon, since given na yung isa, kailangan nating hanapin yung dalawa pa gamit ang synthetic division or factoring or combination of the two. Gamit ang synthetic division, isulat muna natin yung numerical coefficient ng bawat term sa polynomial equation. So, 1 coefficient ng x cubed, 4 coefficient ng x squared, 1 coefficient ng x at negative 6 as constant. Then, yung r natin ay positive 1. So, bring down 1. Then, multiply 1 and 1, which is 1. Add 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 times 1 is 5. 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 times 1 is 6. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. Ang quotient, x square plus 5x plus 6. Tapos kunin natin yung factors. Factors ng x square ay x at x. Factors of 6 na ang sum ay 5 ay positive 3 at positive 2 since 3 times 2 is 6 and 3 plus 2 is 5. Ngayon, gamit ang zero product property, x plus 3 equals 0. Then, x plus 2 equals 0 then. Then, to find the value of x, just transpose 3. So, yan ay negative 3. And, x is equal to negative 2. Ang roots ng polynomial equation na x cubed plus 4x squared plus x minus 6 equal to 0 ay positive 1, negative 3, at negative 2. Kung gustong gumamit ng plainly synthetic division ay pwede naman, pero kailangan lang ilista yung mga possible roots para hindi kayo masyadong mahirapan sa trial and error. So, kukunin nyo lang yung factors ng constant at factors ng leading coefficient or yung ratio nila. So, ang factors niyan ay positive or negative 1, positive or negative 2, positive or negative 3, at positive or negative 6. Para masabi na ang value ng x ay root, kailangan kapag gumamit ng synthetic division, ang remainder ay equal sa 0. Ngayon, subukan natin yung negative 2 as value of r. So, bring down 1. Then, 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. 5 plus negative 2 is 3. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Then, 6 plus negative 6 is 0. Since ang remainder ay equal sa 0, then, x, which is equal to negative 2, is a root. Para malaman naman yung isa pang root, yung quotient natin na x plus 3 ay equate natin sa 0. So, yan ay x plus 3 equal sa 0, then x is equal to transpose 3 to the other side of the equal sign, which is negative 3, is also a root. 
Number 2, 3x raised to 4 plus 7x cubed minus 13x square minus 23x minus 6 equals 0. One of its roots is negative 3. Ngayon, ilist na muna natin yung mga possible roots. Ang possible roots ay ratio ng roots ng negative 6 at roots ng positive 3. So, yun ay positive or negative 1, positive or negative 2, positive or negative 3 na magkapareho sila. Positive or negative 6, root ng negative 6, then positive or negative 1 half, positive or negative 1 third, positive or negative 2 thirds, and positive or negative 3 over 2. So, yun yung mga list of possible roots. Sa number 2, ang degree ng polynomial equation ay 4. Since given ay isang root which is negative 3, then kailangan natin isolve yung tatlong roots gamit ang synthetic division. Numerical coefficient ng bawat term ng polynomial equation ay positive 3, positive 7, negative 13, negative 23, constant numbers negative 6, then yung r natin is negative 3. Bring down the leading coefficient 3, then multiply 3 times negative 3 is negative 9, add 7 plus negative 9 is negative 2, negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6, negative 13 plus 6 is negative 7, negative 7 times negative 3 is positive 21, Negative 23 plus 21 is negative 2. Then negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So x which is equal to negative 3 is a root. Para mahanap pa yung ibang roots, uh, let's use negative 1 as r via trial and error. Okay, bring down 3. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Negative 2 plus negative 3 is negative 5. Negative 5 times negative 1 is positive 5. Negative 7 plus 5 is negative 2. The negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Ibig sabihin, x which is equal to negative 1 is also one of the roots. So, nare-write ko yung coefficients na positive 3, negative 5, negative 2. Ngayon naman, itry natin ang r na positive 2. So, bring down 3. 3 times 2 is positive 6. Negative 5 plus 6 is positive 1. 1 times 2 is positive 2. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So, another root is positive 2 since ang remainder ay 0. So, yung matitira natin quotient ay 3x plus 1. By zero product property, yan ay equal sa 3x plus 1 equal to 0. Or, transpose 1 to the other side of the equal sign. So, yan ay 3x which is equal to negative 1. Then, to find the value of x, divide both sides by 3. 3. So, cancel. Therefore, x is equal to negative 1 third. Ang roots ng 3x raised to 4 plus 7x cubed minus 13x square minus 23x minus 6 equal to 0 ay negative 3, negative 1, positive 2 at negative 1 third.